Welcome to Miniorange. Miniorange provides single sign-on solutions for crowd-integrated Atlassian apps. And as we know that is the best SSO solutions available in the market. Let's see how SSO works with crowd-integrated Atlassian apps. Here is the flow diagram of the SSO solution. The Crowd SAML SSO plugin is used to enable authentication from SAML IDP. Also, to connect the Atlassian applications to IDP through Crowd, you will need to install the Crowd SSO connector add-ons in these Atlassian applications. Using the SSO connector, any user accessing that application gets redirected to IDP for SSO. Here, all the SSO requests and responses, to, and from, IDP, will go through the Crowd server. The user authentication will be done by the IDP, and Crowd can still be used to manage the user permissions. It works with both, server, as well as data center apps. To set up the Crowd, you may follow the instructions given in this link. You will find this link in the description as well. In your Crowd data center, go to your Miniorange SAML SSO plugin. Now you are on Service Provider Info tab. We will be covering out the setup here. You can also go through the setup on this guide. Here you will get step-by-step -step instructions. So, firstly we are configuring Okta, as Identity Provider. Go to the Okta login page. And login with your credentials. From the left menu, go to the Applications drop-down. And select Applications. Click on Create App Integration. And select SAML 2.0 as the sign-on method. Now click on Next. Enter the app name. Then click on Next. You will find single sign-on URL in Service Provider Info tab in the plugin. Scroll down. You can see the ACS URL here. Copy it. And paste it in the given field in the application. To find the SP Entity ID, go back to the plugin. SP Entity ID is used to uniquely identify your service provider. Copy it. And paste it in the given field in the application. In the Attribute Statement section, add the attribute as first name, and select its value as user first name. Add second attribute as last name, and select its value as user last name. Now, add another attribute as email, and select its attribute as user email. Now go to the Group Attribute Statement section, and add the attribute as Groups. Select Matches Rejects from the Filter drop-down, and enter dot asterisk to get all the Okta groups. Scroll down, and click on Next. Select the required information, and click on Finish. Go to the Assignment tab. Click on Assign. And select Assign to People. Now, assign the app to the people. Click on Save and go back. Click on Done. You can see that the user is assigned successfully. Now, let's configure Crowd as Service Provider. Go to the Service Provider Info tab in the plugin. Scroll down. And click on Next. You can configure the Identity Provider metadata, either by manual configuration or by importing IDP metadata using URL of the metadata XML file. We will be configuring IDP metadata by navigating to Import from Metadata tab. Here, enter the IDP name. You will find the IDP metadata URL in your Okta application. Go to the Sign On tab. Scroll down. You'll get the metadata URL from the Identity Provider metadata link. To manually configure the IDP, you can view the setup instructions here. Now, click on Identity Provider metadata link. Copy the URL of the page and paste it in the metadata URL in the plugin. Now, click on Import. You can see SAML settings updated message. Scroll down. Click on Test Configuration. And you can see successful test configuration here, along with first name, last name, name ID, and email. Click on Done. You can also view the SAML request, and SAML response here. Now, scroll up and go to User Profile tab. Here you can map the user profile attributes. Go to the email, and enter the attribute as email. You can keep it as name ID, as it contains email which was shown in the test configuration. Enter the first name attribute, and last name attribute, that we received in the SAML response. Now scroll down, 
and click on save. Now, let's configure Jira Crowd SSO connector. Go to the Jira data center, and navigate to Manirange Jira Crowd SSO plugin. In the SSO configuration tab, enter the crowd base URL. Click on save. After updating the SAML configuration, go to SSO redirection tab. If you want to force all your users to authenticate via IDP, then enable auto redirect to IDP option. Now, click on save. You can follow the same instructions of Jira Crowd SSO connector configuration for configuring crowd connectors for other Atlassian applications like Bitbucket, Confluence, FishEye and Bamboo. Let's see, SSO in action for these apps. Go to Jira login page. You will be redirected to open a login page for a SAML authentication by Jira Crowd Connector, via Crowd. Now, enter your OCLA credentials, and sign in. You will be successfully logged into Jira dashboard, using OCLA credentials. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name, and email ID here. User authentication is done by Okta, but user information is synced from the crowd. Now go to the Bitbucket login page. And you will be logged into the Bitbucket dashboard, without entering the Okta credentials, because your sessions were saved when you logged into your Okta account, while logging into Jira. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Now go to Confluence login page. And you will be successfully logged into your Confluence dashboard by Confluence Crowd Connector via Crowd. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Now go to FishEye login page. And you will be successfully logged into your FishEye dashboard by FishEye Crowd Connector via Crowd. From the top right corner, navigate the profile setting. Select profile and email. And you can see user's full name and email ID here. Now go to Bamboo login page. And you will be successfully logged into your Bamboo dashboard by Bamboo Crowd Connector via Crowd. Go to the user profile, to check the user data. And you can see the user's full name and email ID here. Manurange provides best single sign-on solutions. Thanks for watching.